Welcome to the fifth subscriber analysis video. As always, everything you can see on screen there are things I'm going to be analyzing and talking about. And in this video, we've got a 70 plus kill game by Garty on Marita Conquest. So let's get stuck straight into it. Straight away, quick tip at the start of the game, look at the spawn, as soon as the timer hits zero, you're going to see the spawn point actually moves back to where the vehicles are, which you can see just behind the spawn point. Um, right at the start of the game, you can see there, if you spawn, if you wait and spawn on that new spawn point, uh, you can get a vehicle, you could be the first person to get to the power position of C, or even drive behind the enemy lines, uh, and you can easily start the game off with 10, 15, uh, you know, 10, 15 kill streak. Um, but you can see here, he's going to be a team player, is going to be capturing the flags. Um, so, of course, I'm not going to penalize uh, all the different plays in the game uh, where he could be pushing uh, for a, a better position or better rotation uh, for higher kills because he's being a team player in this case. Uh, but I will, of course, for the people who are interested, I will make the comments uh, at different stages of the game uh, to show where would be the best place to go to get more kills more quickly. Now, generally, throughout the entirety of this game, he's actually staying around uh, D flag quite a lot in almost all the clips. Now, I am obviously cutting out quite a bit, uh, but you'll see multiple times which I'll slow down and show where after he dies and he's spawning in, I'll show you the spawn screen. Um, he's always spawning in and around D flag uh, when there's other better spawns uh, there potentially. Uh, you can see good here, good use of leaning. Uh, you know, just making sure he's not running around into a bunch of a group of enemies coming from E. Uh, but going back to the previous point, uh, so he's on D flag a lot, which is probably not the best idea uh, because it's such an open flag with minimal minimal cover and all of the cover that is available is down on the cliff edge. And if you're using an SMG, in this case the MP40, um, you're going to get outgunned uh, by most other players and you're not going to be using the effective range of this weapon when playing uh, on D flag. Uh, but here you're going to see good situational awareness again of leaning around the corner, uh, knows where the enemy is going to be, showing the least amount of his body uh, as possible. Uh, and the point which I'm going to come uh, come from here is you can see the flags at the top there. The enemies have got C and B flag, which they had well over 20 to 30 seconds ago. Uh, and he's only now turning and running towards uh, B and C flag. Uh, if he had seen B and C flag 30 seconds earlier, ha having been captured by the enemies, he could have pushed up to the main power position, uh, which I've talked about before, which is in front of me uh, here, uh, you know, the, directly in the center of the map, an equal distance to all flags around it. Um, if he'd seen that, that earlier, that the enemies had those two flags, he could have pushed there a lot earlier, a lot quicker, and he could have beaten, for example, that enemy, as well as other enemies, to this power position first and will be able to catch the enemies off guard uh, coming from C and B flag and using this power position he would have been able to use the cliff edge to kill all the enemies of course coming from B uh, pushing down underneath the cliff around to D flag uh, so again a rotational thing there uh, an awareness just watching the flags be able to try and get to the best position possible before the enemies uh, you know the flow of enemies will, will come from a certain direction or a set of flags uh, which are being held and just to finish the clip there as he dies uh, quick note is again I guess over aggression with medics and medic play uh, he had the power position there on the cliff he just had to wait for the enemies to come from D flag uh, pushing down out of the head glitch of the cliff edge out of cover um, has got himself killed there, exposing himself. Uh, so again, spawning here on D flag. There was a better spawn uh, at C. You know, it's more close quarters. There is a choke point, uh, but it is more effective for the weapon. And if you can stay alive, uh, then you can get more kills. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, the cover, which is on D flag, is at the bottom of the, of the, of the map by the cliff edge. Um, it's hard to see the enemies. You know, it's a long distance to get kills, especially using a medic weapon, which is not the effective range of the weapon. Um, and so if you're playing medic, you really want to be uh, avoiding D flag. Uh, even if I'm using long range weapons, D flag is probably the least likely area I would ever want to go uh, on this map. Uh, so it, it shows how good he's done still getting 70 plus kills when playing uh, most of this game on D flag, uh, which is the probably the least best place to find kills. Um, you know, and the most likely place you're going to uh, get uh, deaths from easily. Finishing the clip off here on the power position on the cliff edge overlooking D flag. Um, Going to pick up a few kills. 
however, is going to lie down, uh, become an easy target, uh, you know, and is not being very aware of the enemies potentially coming from E flag behind him to the right. Uh, and of course, lying down, if you do get shot at, uh, you're, slow, you're slow to react in terms of trying to stand up and be able to move out the way uh, into cover. Uh, so here, just simply needs to be, uh, with, it, especially using a, a, a medic weapon, needs to be moving around a bit more to become a harder target uh, and fighting the enemies that are going to come from behind. Uh, so here, looking at the flags again, just making a, a subtle set, a setting change there. Uh, it's going to be spawning down at E, uh, you know, down yeah, by C flag, pushing again towards D flag. But you could see there he had the chance before the enemies capture E, uh, e flag. He had the chance to spawn on E flag, which would have been the perfect spawn considering the enemies have got F flag, uh, are capturing uh, E flag and have got D flag. So he could, have spawned, he could have spawned on E flag, smack bang in the middle of all the other enemies and the flags which they are holding. Uh, and so we had the perfect position to get a flank around the back of the enemies, pushing C flag on the power position. You could have got all the enemies from behind on D flag, uh, you know, as well as all the enemies still capturing uh, E flag and pushing down from the main road at the top of the map uh, from F. So a simple spawn like that can put you in the better position to pick up so many more easy kills uh, to get a flank opportunity and, you know, to be able to avoid uh, loads of gunfights. Uh, but again, coming back to D flag uh, and, you know, therefore being on an open uh, flag with minimal cover, not being able to find the most amount of enemies to kill because generally this flag is going, this, this place of the map, D flag, is going to be uh, one of the areas of the map with the least flow of enemies uh, or at all times. Uh, so, yeah, again, throughout the course of this game, just staying on D flag. Um, and still getting 72 kills is really good, uh, but it is uh, the least best place to be to stay alive and to get kills, and especially using a medic weapon uh, is not very good in terms of the cover and the range of engagements which you are going to be having. Now, finishing this clip off with another revive. I can't even count how many revives he's had so far. Absolutely excellent medic play. So let's slow this next clip down here. Perfect spawn is going to be, as you can see, in between E and C flag. He's got a teammate he could spawn on at E flag, but again, is choosing to go to D flag, uh, where there's not going to be many enemies, and it's going to be very open and hard to win gunfights and stay alive. Again, picking up that spawn at E flag, in between E and C, where the main power position is. You know, the, the enemies have got B flag as well, so all the enemies are going to be swarming from B and C and E. If you stand on that power position in the middle, you know, then you've got an unlimited amount of kills of enemies flowing through the middle of the map, um, as well as being an equal distance to be able to choose which flag to go to. Uh, so again, spawning on D flag uh, here and picking up a death in the previous clip. Uh, you know, as a result of just being on a flag which is too open uh, with a weapon where you need to be able to run and get into uh, to close range engagements to stay alive. Now the problem here in that clip, if I just rewind it, as soon as you run onto the flag, the enemies are going to know you're there. Now as soon as you throw a smoke and the smoke pops, you're blocking your vision of the potential enemies, which is going to make it harder for you to engage them, but they're also going to know straight away the direction that you're coming from, and they've got the higher ground because you're running up uphill and therefore uh, you know it's going to result in the death the enemy as soon as you pop the smoke there has come directly to where the smoke went off so you need to not throw the smoke in that case and if you run onto the flag uh, without throwing the smoke the enemies are going to be looking around the flag there's a better chance you're going to catch them off guard with them looking in the wrong direction but when that smoke goes off you're blocking your vision and the enemies know instantly the direction which you're coming from. Final thing here in this clip is uh, throwing smokes on your teammates when reviving them. It can disorientate you when you jump off the revive, you might come out of the smoke into enemies or not knowing where you are. And the enemies, uh, if you've seen my previous videos, can shoot directly to the center of the smoke. Um, so it's always better to throw the smokes to where the threat is going to come from and to make it harder for the enemies to locate where you are. Now this is a clip I absolutely love, using perfect cover rotation here at the start of the clip, as well as having patient play, building, if you like, a little mini power position in this house. The enemies are all pushing past this house from E and F, and he's showing here, you know, not being over aggressive here to jump out of the house and go and chase down all these enemies. He's got the, you know, the perfect effective range with the MP40, as you can see here. And he's just going to simply hold this house, 
you know, he's got plenty of time to reload, plenty of cover, and he's just gonna pick off, you know, kill after kill after kill. And so utilizing a position like this, he does minimal amounts of running and he spends more time shooting, therefore more bullets fired, equaling more potential kills, uh, you know, and he's less likely to, to die while running and gunning as well. So moving into the next clip, he's finally got enough points for a V2 rocket. You know, he's got the perfect idea of where to place it. C flag is always such a small flag, such a crowded flag being the main choke point of the map. And he's going to pick up plenty of kills from that. So absolutely perfect knowledge and placement of where to put the V2 rocket uh, on this map. Uh, but here pushing again down this cliff side uh, underneath towards D flag is going to pick up quite a few kills here and again is showing good patience not pushing into the smoke he's letting the enemies get disorientated in the smoke pushing out of the smoke uh, and having to you know figure out their surroundings before even being able to identify any potential enemies which would be him uh, so perfect patience there uh, but again possibly the wrong rotational play moving to d flag towards an open area of the map a, a very tight choke point where there's a lot of dmrs uh, which you'll see here is what's going to get him killed uh, not having an effective range for the MP40 when using this uh, potential route around the map. So moving on, he's now pushing towards E flag up the hill from D flag with his team. And you're going to see another perfect, perfect example of patience and picking up plenty of kills, not from being over aggressive, even when using the medic class. So you're going to push up against the wall of the house here after getting the revive. Uh, of which this house is kind of the mini power position for this map if you like if the main power position is occupied uh, this is the next best, best place to go uh, so you're going to pick up plenty of kills here and you know his play style from this as you can see isn't too dissimilar or far off of my my game style as well myself using good key positions and patience and letting the enemies move around you know the, the place which i am located uh, poor awareness here you can see two enemies on the left of the screen uh, just now uh, over there on the left uh, so he's lucky not to die uh, before you know engaging them and pushing on to sea already uh, and of course picking up a death uh, you know but overall i absolutely love uh, the patience there again because it's not far off of my play style if he utilized in this specific game uh, the different better the better spawns by e flag rather than d flag every single time and using those houses as a mini power position where he can use the effective range of the medic class and the medic weapon he is using uh, this could easily have been a 100 plus kill game uh, for him uh, so it's not far different from my play style uh, the main uh, point of improvement is going to be taking extra bits of time uh, when choosing where you're going to spawn uh, yes you might take five to ten seconds more to choose where to spawn but it will result in potentially five to ten more kills in that life uh, you know than spawning at D flag uh, in this case and this brings us on to the final minute and final clip of the game so I'm going to conclude here uh, with the positives and negatives overall really really good and the improvements which will are there to be made uh, are really uh, simple ones uh, so in terms of the positives Whenever he is shooting, he's got great aim and great recoil control, of course using a low recoil weapon in this case, but is still maintaining a very high accuracy. He's a great team player, always staying with his squad. You can see always going for revives, you know, not double thinking it, he's putting his team first and going for those revives. So an amazing team player and still coming top of the leaderboard with a 70 plus kill game. The main improvements are simply going to be taking more time choosing where to spawn, um, you know, as well as if you're going to be playing on, for example, D flag, use more of a long range weapon, which is better for those types of engagements. If not, spawn on E flag in this case, and you will find yourself easily hitting the 100 plus kill game. You should take it slow.